what is going on guys welcome back to another video my name is Ron and this is MotorTube if you're stopping by for the first time smash the subscribe button turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and be part of the family make sure you also follow me on Instagram at toxic SRT and also add me on snapchat at toxic SRT and today before I get into the video I want to keep you guys updated I will be heading back to LA I'm flying back in a few days so don't think that I'm here for good I just came to visit and I'm heading back in a few days from when this video uploads so got plenty of content and plenty of reviews uh, scheduled a lot of cool cars that really haven't really been seen on this channel at all that will be on this channel a few races that are gonna happen but with that being said today I'm heading out to see Anthony if you guys don't know who Anthony is he has the demon the Durango SRT the Hellcat I mean his garage is literally all Mopar like two Rams I'm gonna show you guys once I get there. He's been on the channel before, but has not been on the channel in a long time. So I'm gonna head out to his house. We're gonna go grab some food, and I have no idea what else we got scheduled for the day, but I'm pretty sure we can make a cool vlog out of it. I'm gonna take the Mustang. So it was raining today. The ground is a little bit wet, but I still wanna take the Mustang out because I just wanna drive it. I haven't driven it in so long, and my body's just like itching to drive it. So I don't care that it's rain. I'll put it in rain mode, and we're gonna go out there and just drive it and have fun. Just the feeling in this car is different than the Hellcat. So, without talking too much, let's turn our Mustang on and get on our way. Let's get it. So I'm gonna put it in rain mode. There you go. So while I'm on the way there, I'm just thinking to myself, like, it is so awesome driving this Mustang. I hate to say this again, but it gives you such an awesome feeling. And I can't wait to drive this car in California one day. Hopefully it'll be soon. I'd love to go around the canyons with this car. It is so comfortable. The Recaro seats are comfortable. The steering is comfortable. Everything is stiff and just comfortable, like I said. This is one of my best purchases just because it just gives me a different feeling and every car gives you a feeling the Hellcat gives you that muscle feeling that pure raw power this gives you that comfortable stiffness uh, more sports car like and that's what I love about this car to be honest but anyways I'm almost at Anthony's I'm actually running late like usual I'm always running late and we're both hungry so I'm not sure where we're gonna go out to eat but he better pick a good place to eat because I'm super hungry pulling up to the house he told me to come through the small garage, but the small garage is closed. Hmm. What should I do? <gasps> I have a Mustang. And there's a garage. Are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Perfect two combinations. A Mustang and a garage. Into it. No, I'm just kidding. All right, I'm at the park, and then we're gonna see what we're gonna go get to eat. All right, I made it here in the rain. It actually, looks pretty good in the rain. I'm not gonna lie. All right, he finally opened the garage for me. Look at all the keys here. What a beautiful garage. So here, if you guys are new to the channel, and you guys don't know who Anthony is. Well, I'm gonna tell you guys who Anthony is. Anthony is my best friend, and we've known each other such a long time, and there's actually a funny story on how we met, and it was like this. So it was back then when I had a scat pack. So I had a Challenger scat pack shaker, right? And it was pretty quick, and there was really nothing done to it besides a leg maker intake, like no lie, there was nothing done to it. But a lot of people thought I was spraying nitrous for some reason, just cause I knew how to drive it off the line. Um, it was a dick car, that's all I really did with it. Everybody was spreading rumors that I was spraying nitrous. And Anthony wanted to race me, right? Cause they were saying mine was the fastest scat pack at the moment which really wasn't it was just a fast car that i won a lot of races with so he wanted to race me and he is actually spraying nitrous i wasn't spraying nitrous so he, in his head he thinks i'm spraying and i didn't really think he was spraying but we raced and it was money on the line and i got him off the line right and then i'm halfway you know down the quarter 
And then he just comes past me like I was going backwards or something. And it was funny because it was a lot of arguments going on and it was crazy, but that's how we met. He sprayed me when he thought I was spraying because everybody was spreading rumors saying I had nitrous, which I didn't. So it was kind of funny how it happened. And ever since we've been really good friends. So I'm gonna show you guys his garage setup. He has a few cool cars. So here is the Durango SRT. So this replaced a C7 Z06. So he had a C7 Z06 and they kind of wanted something to drive every day and in the winter and the C7 Z06 isn't such a good choice to do. So they got this and they also have the big boy demon right here, okay? Let's not forget this demon is probably the lowest mileage demon right now in the country. I don't even think it has 200 miles or something. I'm not sure how many miles it is. It never gets driven. But to be fair, they did get it last winter and they couldn't really drive it. And then Anthony got his Hellcat here. This is the same color as my Ram, except it looks a lot better on this car though. So, but that's pretty much it. And then, hey, there's Anthony. Make sure you guys go and subscribe to his channel. I am gonna put a link of his channel in the description. So make sure you guys go and show him some love. His channel is kind of different. He does more of trucks. And he does all this stuff that I do, but he does a lot more trucks. He has a lot more knowledge in trucks than I ever will know. So if you guys need any knowledge of how to do installs on tr on trucks, he, he does have a Ram and it's outside. Yes, there's more cars. There's actually another Ram. Yeah, they, they have two Rams. So if you guys want to see any of that, make sure you guys go and subscribe to his channel. So he also has a Dodge Ram, which is what we're going to take to go get some lunch. So we came to the Dodge dealership real quick to get some touch-up paint. That's a Hellcat, right? Yeah. There's a yellow hawk out there. I hate that yellow on the dodge. And there's a track hawk, a black one right there. Oh, and a wide body hellcat. By the way, it is an octane red hellcat. Looks really good. Look at it. And then there's a track hawk as well. Whew. This thing is crazy. All right, guys, so we're leaving the worst dealership in Michigan right now. So he needs black touch up paint. Now, black is, should be the most common color out there black and white right he goes it'll take two weeks to get here i'm like bro what are we ordering another hellcat we could probably order a whole nother truck and get it before the worst dealership possible over here all right guys so we just got done eating now we're headed home so i don't know if any of you guys are into snowmobiles but here could you explain because i would obviously no i don't so this know this here is a yamaha sidewinder it has 204 horsepower and that's like ridiculous it's amount of horsepower for only for... weighing like 600 pounds okay and then you said it was what turbocharged turbocharged three cylinder four stroke it's a thousand cc's and it's turbocharged led look at that digital dash i get that man this thing is nice and then what about that one that one's a articat it's a two stroke the twin it's 800 cc's and it's got about 160 horsepower. And then this is a speedometer, by the way. Wow. And then you said that orange one is faster, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you guys go. A little info about snowmobiles, which I know nothing about. And then explain how so these. So basically, the studs are what give you traction. Uh -huh. So those are called studs, and um, that's basically like putting a drag radial on your car instead of having a street tire. Okay. So if you don't have studs and you go to floor, it's just going to spin the track. We have the studs to penetrate and grab, you know, the surface so that it actually hooks. So that's basically when you stud a track, it's like putting drag radials on a car. Okay. And, and and is there any way they wear out? Oh yeah, they wear out over time. So it's this that wears out, right? Yeah, it'll get shorter. Oh, so when it gets a certain height or whatever, and then you yeah, know to get new ones? Yeah, start bending and start, yeah, mm. some of them rip out. So, but. does it usually happen where, like, some of these break, but not all of them? Yes. You, like, it's not something you, you just, just replace, replace all at once? You just replace each one, right, if you wanted to, like, at, as they mm. break. But okay. They don't, it, usually don't have okay. a problem with them breaking. So, what's, like, what's the maintenance on these? Like, if you was eyes to get one. What maintenance besides that? You like, really don't need, I mean, maintenance would be just changing the oil once a year, because uh, that's a four stroke, so you change it once a year like a car, and then changing your uh, Hyfax, which is a plastic slide that runs on the mm, uh, mm. on the track, so that, like it's this here, 
down here it's plastic and what that does is it it lets the track ride on the rails and over time those wear out but those are easy to replace they're just plastic and then on the front there's carbides underneath the skis which are metal bars and they help you turn let me see. so those are like wear items you're talking about these yeah so underneath here mm -hmm. i can't lift it up but underneath right. there there's a metal bar that mm -hmm. helps you steer and those wear out over time after you okay. like um, cross roads a lot or whatever. Okay, so how much does this one cost? About thirteen thousand. Brand new, and this one? Uh, actually, thirteen to fourteen thousand, depending on what package you get. Okay, and then this one? That one's about uh, eleven to twelve thousand. Okay. You could, you could, you know, depends on what year. Depends and these on are, what are you talking about? These are new. These were new. These, like when you a, buy them, a, the price you just mentioned, they're yeah, brand those new. Yeah, brand new. This is a okay. seventeen. And the uh, one on the left is a uh, 15. Okay, cool, cool. So with that being said, right now we are gonna go skating and obviously I don't wanna bring my camera in there because it'll be way too many things to hold. So I'm gonna try to get a tiny bit of footage on my iPhone and throw it in to show you guys kind of what we're doing. But then I'll continue this video tomorrow morning because it's already dark and there's nothing for me to vlog. So I'll see you guys in the morning. We're about to get our tickets. Yeah, two Skates. Okay, so I'm ready to go skating. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, and I want to clear up some things. The reason why I said it's the worst dealership that I've been to is not just because they didn't have paint and you needed to wait two weeks to get black touch of paint. It's also because it's right around where my friend lives, right? And literally a mile away from where he stays at. Yet, he has not gotten one car from them, and here is the big reason why. They are literally $100 to $200 more a month on cars, literally. Let's say you go Lisa Hellcat there, it's going to be $200 more than everywhere else. Let's say you go lease a Trackhawk, I don't know, anything else, it will be $100 to $200 more. And that's the reason why it's not a good dealership. Because they tax so much. And when I say tax, it's kind of an urban word, which means they overprice things. They obviously don't care to have fair pricing. They choose to go beyond and overcharge for things. So that's why, and the reason why I'm saying this, because I'm always going to be honest with everything. Every experience I have, I'm going to tell you guys my honest opinion. And that's why I'm on YouTube, because I do have a voice. And I can freely say whatever I want. And be honest to you guys and I had to be honest with you guys so with that being said I'm gonna let you guys go so if you guys like today's video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to this channel smash the subscribe button turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and be part of the family make sure you also follow me on Instagram at toxic SRT also I am heading back to LA in a couple of days and another thing that I want to let you guys know is this please 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 I want you guys all to go after your dream. Now, if they seem like they're too big, then you're on the right path. Because if your dream is too small, then there's really no point of dreaming about anything small. Dream big and go as far as God will allow you to. And another thing, a lot of you guys tell me that you wanna start YouTube channels. Just start the YouTube channel already. Don't talk about it, don't say I will, this and that. You don't have to buy the most expensive camera. Start with your phone. I started with a phone, went to a GoPro, and now I have a Canon G7X. So it's just steps to it. You don't necessarily have to start with the best camera. It's about if you love doing what you do, then do it. Make good content and just post it out there and see what people think. It's simple as that, guys. Just go and get what you want. It's that simple. It's all in your mindset. If you believe it and you see it, you're halfway there and then you just got to grind it out. Don't listen to what people got to say because when I started my YouTube channel, I had people that were close to me, friends, people that knew me. Everybody laughed at me and thought it was funny that I'm behind this camera talking and na da da whatever, whatever. And they're like, oh, you don't get views. You're not going to get views. And well, look at me now. I think I'm doing really well to be about seven, eight months in. I'm constantly growing and we're going to reach 100,000 subscribers pretty soon. So my message is simply this. No matter how young you are, how old you are, just go after what you believe in and what you love to do. Because if you keep listening to what these people got to say, you won't get anywhere. Because a lot of them don't even believe in themselves. So cut all the noise out and do what you love. 
I love all of you guys, and please stay positive, and I will see you guys on the next upload. Peace out.